Alright guys, as promised, an update video for my Death Knight. So I'm going to be trying something new, like I stated before. I'm going to, every few days, kind of give you guys an update on how the character is progressing and what I'm doing to get through the game on that character. So the core reason I wanted to create this character, obviously, was to make something that was very, very tanking and had good survivability, but was also able to deal a decent amount of damage. So that's the core reason I wanted to make this character. And, you know, that allows you to basically hunt down really hard, difficult bosses that otherwise you really couldn't do on most characters in this game. So, in my opinion, I've seen some guides and I've seen some people's opinions, but in my opinion, I would focus on Necromancer Sight first, and I'd go straight for Ravenous Earth. I'd pump that up as high as possible, as quickly as possible. This ability here lets you basically AoE and shotgun down everything really fast, and it's going to make your leveling experience much faster, in my opinion. Um, you don't have to do that. You can do whatever you think you like the best. It's totally up to you. This is just what I think. On the soldier side, you know, after you get that Ravenous Earth up to 16 and pump it as high as you can, I would probably recommend getting Field Command as high as possible, as quickly as possible. And that's simply because it gives you the offensive ability, defensive ability, and the armor absorption. And I feel like that's just really nice to have early on. Being able to land your hits more often is going to make it a lot smoother whenever you're leveling and going through the game. One point of Blitz is really good. Blitz it does a lot of damage for a one pointer and it does a little bit of an AoE when you smack into stuff and as you can see it does main hand damage and even off offhand damage too which is kind of crazy so it stacks the two and it does quite a bit from the two. You can see the bonus physical knockdown and it lets you get around really fast has really good mobility on it so I think it's definitely worth one point. One into Minhir's Will, <clears throat> one into Overguard so I would recommend using a shield with this character while you're leveling it. If you don't care about dying then you can do whatever you want and uh, you know I don't lose my mind if I die, but if you're going to be playing hardcore, I would recommend using a shield, and I'd recommend probably picking up these skills here, maybe pumping those even higher than I have. Uh, right now, I haven't even I haven't even gotten close to dying, but, you know, just depends on what you're going to do. My goal is to not die in this character at all, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, I can do that. <laughs> so I put some points into Spectral Binding, some points into Spectral Wrath, one point of this recently, which I've been trying out. This thing's insanely good. I love it. And I have that linked to my Scorpion Sting. So the Scorpion Sting, with this in conjunction, you do a lot of damage, drop enemy defensive ability, and I'm stacking primarily right now Vitality Poison, and I'm picking up a little extra Acer wherever I can. Put Twin Fang on that. This lets Ravenous Earth have a little bit better of a single target ability, and it heals you, vamps, which is really nice. So. You know, you want to keep that in mind. Also, the Twin Fang does present main hand weapon damage as well. So this is, you know, synergizes with a lot of stuff like Spectral Binding, uh, so on and so forth. So Spectral Wrath, here's what's really cool about Spectral Wrath. And this is kind of what I was talking about with my Warder. The Warder is very lacking in doing return damage to any ranged or caster mobs. And it's really kind of disheartening and annoying. <laughs> but this skill here actually works on melee, works on range, basically works on anything that hits you. So it's not true retaliation damage per se, so if you were to stack bonus retaliation damage by percentage or whatever it is, you know, it wouldn't boost the damage on this, I don't believe. Pretty sure it doesn't work that way. Um, but what will boost this damage is any percent bonus vitality or bonus vit uh, aether damage you stack. and it's actually doing really good damage. It puts a dot on enemies, more or less, and they take that per second. Kind of. I'm pretty sure. So, anyway. Um, really good. Drops enemy attack speed, physical resist, vitality resist, aether resist. This, this is going to be a monster later on. And as even right now, I'm really enjoying it. You know, if I'm fighting something like close range in melee, if there's, like, ranged on a wall shooting me, they're taking damage from this, and they die pretty quick. I'm really enjoying that. Alright, so let's go into devotion real quick. You know, this is nothing fancy. All this is going to change. Like I said, I'm just showing you guys what I did. So, basically I put one point at Crossroads, uh, the green Crossroads here, and then I maxed out Bat, went back in, took a point out, maxed uh, Scorpion out. So again, I'm trying to focus on Vitality and Poison. You know, if I want to pick up some extra Aether, I can go over here if I want. Um, I'll have a future video showing you guys what I decided to do with this. Like I said, obviously it's going to all change later, so nothing's crazy and set in stone. I'm going to skim over my items real quick. Take note of the components I'm, components I'm using. You know, you can use whatever you want. You can use bonus vitality, bonus poison. Um, this is just what I've decided to do. I actually do use the Dreek's Infinite Gaze from the component here, and it does really decent AoE and dot damage as well. I'll show you here in a second. This Bone Talisman you can get from a quest, and I'll show you where that's at here in a second. Every playthrough you can grab that. You only need one, and I just transfer between 
characters. Um, the thing is, is this is really good. It gives you bonus damage when you proc it, and it also lets you regenerate your mana really well. So it can help manage your mana if you have a character that's not stacking a lot of spirit or is spending lots of mana and you know doesn't have a lot of energy regen. Energy regen so this guy's kind of in that category, uh, but it's working out real well. Okay, so got my buffs going. So I do, like I said, I do like field command for the bonus defense ability, and this as well. This actually gives you flat aether damage, bonus aether damage by your percentage, and health and offensive ability. So this is going to be really useful. I'm going to end up maxing this out as well. So the quest to get the Bone Talisman is actually here in the Arcovian Foothills. You can go out here, you do a quest to save... Well, you don't actually save them, spoiler alert. <laughs> I know, I've ruined your game experience, but you go out there to find the Elder for these people, and uh, he's like, here, take this Talisman, I'm not going to make it. You go back to the guy to turn the quest in, and you can lie and say you didn't find the Talisman and keep it. And that's how you get the, bones, uh, the Bone Talisman. Alright, so I'll go where I left off. Broken Hills, let's get into some gameplay. Go ahead and pop my experience elixir. Always good. I love those elixirs. And uh, the damage on this build is really good. This setup is really good. Uh, the AoE is super good. Nothing's really a problem for me. As you can see, you just drop Raz with Ravenous Earth. You can see the uh, little skulls popping up over their head. That is actually the. Uh, that's the Spectral Wrath proccing and hitting enemies. So I can show you what I was talking about earlier. Let me get over here. Anything that's ranged. See, they all immediately take dot. You see them dying. See that? That's why that skill is actually really good. <laughs> and I'm sure later on it's going to be phenomenal. So do some dot here. Okay. And so that's the whole premise and idea behind this build. Uh, you just want to rip things down as quickly as possible. Yep. They all did. If you get into trouble, you do have the Overguard. You can proc that. You can even put a few more points into it if you're worried about dying. Like I said, I haven't even gotten close at this point. Yeah, that thing is like... I was really surprised how good that thing is. Uh, I was like, uh... <laughs> the Siphon Soul. So it says it does 468 vitality damage and converts that damage into health. A percentage of that. But the thing is, is it's a 3 second duration. It does that every second. So it's 468 times 3, basically. Uh, well, technically times 4, because it does the... The Nova itself does an initial hit, and then it does the dot proc, I believe. So I think that's technically 4 ticks of damage. Yeah, I didn't even... <laughs> that was the blitz. It's only one point. It just killed all three of the skeletons. As you can see, those spines will proc drop defensive ability. Yeah, so that's what's kind of cool about the Scorpion Sting with this. So that's basically the Siphon Souls is doing a dot, and then the Scorpion Sting does a dot as well. So they take poison damage over time, and it reduces their defensive ability. So when you stack the two, it ends up becoming, you'll see here, a really good dot. <laughs> a really good AoE dot. You know, and that was, you know, just Scorpion Sting. And then obviously the Spectral Wrath add on there, doing the return. But yeah, really, I mean, there's nothing to it. Um, yeah, I'm just breezing through this. And I, I do like the mobility, I like the damage. You know, the Ravenous Earth. It does really good clear. You know, even if I were to just throw Ravenous Earth, it, it's enough to just wreck everything in the area. Not a problem at all. Let me show you here. No. Basically anything to... <laughs> that, that, that tot return is so good. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it kind of makes me mad that I leveled a warder. <laughs> I was like, hmm... To be honest, I mean, I did want to, like I said, I wanted to make a Death Knight a while back, you know, but I just, I'm a, I'm a summoner at heart, that's what I always like to play in every game, so I was like, ah, I want a Cabalist. I was like, man, I want to do the pet thing. So I did. And, you know, I still like my Cabalist a lot. I enjoy it. Alright. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do a little, I'm going to go kill Kellerin or Killerin, whatever the hell his name is. Do a little, uh, boss. And show you guys, you know, the kind of damage this build can do 
on something that's a little more durable. And you can see these guys are, um, you know, they're two or three levels higher than me. So that's where that offensive ability kicks in. You know, right now I have almost 100% chance to to land my hits and almost a 10% chance to crit. And that's um, honestly not too bad at this point in the game, to be honest. So there's a heroic here. I'll do, I'll do the heroic as well. So you can see uh, that's the bone talisman kicking in there. Activate it. Yeah, so there was a heroic, and I even stopped to not DPS that guy. Alright. <laughs> okay, so you can see the Twin Fang, and it actually procs a lot with the Ravenous Earth. And the way that it works is it basically auto-aims for you. It'll just shoot at any mob that's near you and keep spamming the, the things. You saw it there. So you can just see the fangs that keep spitting out, as long as that's doing damage. And uh, that's what I was talking about before, which it kind of provides like a little bit of a single target poke with it. Yeah, I actually like it quite a bit. The twin fangs in general is just a really good skill. Really good skill in my opinion. Yeah. Little well, tanky guy here. Alright, so see I already leveled with the bonus experience going on. Super nice. And I cannot wait to get that set item from Lokar. Because <laughs> you're going to get 40% more bonus experience, which is pretty exciting, honestly. When you run it. And it, you can wear it at level 1. I forgot to mention that in my last video. Also, I would like to note that... Um, the Kriegs set that you want to run with the Death Knight, there's three different bosses you have to farm for it. So I will do an update video explaining that and showing you guys how to do that. So there's no confusion on that. Um, I was under the impression you could just farm that one boss and you had a chance to drop any of the pieces, but that is not the case. Out in the Malmuth outskirts, um, there's two other bosses you have to kill. But they're not crazy far away or anything, so... Uh, from the location that you can farm them at. Alright. Yep, she going down quick. So yeah, this... <laughs> I mean, you can see the experience I'm grabbing. This build is beastly, honestly, and I'm honestly thoroughly enjoying it already. And it's not even the build I'm going to be primarily running. I mean, it's going to change, I know that, but I feel like it's going to be a similar playstyle. I mean, you're basically like a Plague Master that wears plate. <laughs> so yeah, actually here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pump some more points in Spectral Binding. Get that offensive ability up, bonus health up. So now with that bonus offensive ability, it's up to 927. I believe. Hopefully I wasn't debuffed. Wasn't debuffed, was I? No, 927. Yes, that's pretty good. So here we are in some more beastly targets. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you can see the damage is really good. Not struggling at all. So another portal just in case I do die. I don't think I will. Just, you know, with him you just don't want to go like full derp and let him nuke you down. As long as you're safe, you should be good. Throw some overguard just in case. Kick his ass, sea bass. There you have it. Pretty easy. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's uh it's actually a lot of fun. Sorry if I sound kinda meh. It's pretty later, I'm kinda tired, but But yeah, that's basically it guys. This is this is this build currently. You can see how effectively it's working, what it's doing, the AoE clear it has. Uh, I'm leveling pretty quick. I'm already almost level 35, just running through here killing stuff. So yeah. I will be doing uh, update videos showing you guys the progress, and I will be release another update video showing you where to farm the Creek set for the Death Knight, if you guys would be interested in that. Uh, stay tuned for sure. As always, Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. 
if you could please leave me a like a subscribe it helps me out a lot and uh, you know I do enjoy helping everybody out that I can and I you know I love the gaming community and this is what I like to do so figured why not make videos and help people out <laughs> in the process as always guys thank you for taking time to watch some videos everybody take care I will see everybody next time thanks for watching